Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I'm going to show you a different way of installing your Sniper's Edge from Hockey Shot. Now if you remember my previous video, um, I actually already did a video review of the Sniper's Edge and we hung it in the opening of my two car garage. Uh, it worked pretty well that way but I didn't like it quite as much because I have a slope on my driveway and basically it made it so I was shooting uphill. So I think this area that we've got it in now is going to be perfect. This is the back wall of my basement. Um, plenty of width for it and uh, definitely plenty of height for it. So I've got the eight foot, I think we've got eight and a half feet ceilings in here. So uh, it should work just fine. I've got the eight foot sniper's edge. So what I want to do in this video is uh, basically just show you, you know, what pieces I'm using, what I've picked up at the store, and then uh, how it all comes together. I've never done this before, so um, we're going to kind of go through this and learn together. But uh, this is the sniper's edge. I've got it all rolled up right now, but you'll see it in, uh, in full effect as we get going. And uh, this is a 16 foot two by four. So what I plan to do is um, screw it directly onto the, the, uh, the 16 foot two by four. So you can see we've got these little grommets and basically we'll just get some washers and screws and fasten it right to the two by four. Then I've got four 10 inch two by fours. I had them cut these down for, I don't have a chop saw. So uh, hopefully the uh, measure twice cut once saying will work for me here. But um, I had them cut these down for me down at Lowe's and uh, we're just going to use these to adjust the height and make sure we've got the proper height so that it comes just barely down to the floor and hangs properly. Uh, then we've got some screws, some shorter ones and some longer ones. Just, um, you know, some of them are going to be used to attach the, the uh, sniper's edge to the 2x4 and some will be used to attach the 2x4s to each other. So different size screws there and a drill. So let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, set up the camera and then uh, show, you, show you through this. Okay, so here's what we got now. We've got uh, the four 10 inch 2x4s assembled basically stuck just kind of spread them out across the length of the uh, 16 foot 2x4. Um, you can see I've got two screws in each one and then the idea is we'll adjust and uh, hang it by the ceiling or to the ceiling by these top pieces. So that's it. You can see I had a uh, small issue with the one screw. I ended up stripping it so I think I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't have to be pretty. And I put one beside it. So let's go ahead and get this thing hung up now. done that was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be um, I think the biggest problem is that I was using screws on these um, if you decide to do it this way yourself do yourself a favor and uh, rent yourself or borrow yourself a nail gun so here's what I did this is just kind of looking from the ground up um, I do like you know you kind of got to go screws into the main 2x4 so screws and washers there that's that's fine that did the trick where I ran into problems is uh, up here. So I kept trying to go straight in with my drill and I uh, kept stripping the uh, heads of my screws. So I got them in at the end of the day and uh, there's eight screws total, four different studs. So um, it's holding, but I think it would have been a lot easier with just pound them in with a quick nail gun, um, both on the front side and you can kind of see on the back side here too. So nail them, nail the two two by fours together and then nail the two by fours to the rafters but uh, good news is is uh, my measurements all turned out just perfect so you can see we're just right on the right on the floor there it comes up a tiny bit at this end and that's just because we put that wooden dowel in the bottom here you can see there's that little hole 
and my wooden dowel is a tiny bit warped. So the wooden dowel curves up there at that uh, kind of near the end there. So that's the only reason why it's popping up a little bit there. But all in all, it's a uh, fantastic setup. I'm happy with it and uh, gonna uh, start taking some shots. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here's what the Cypress Edge looks like all set up. As you can see, you've got the five holes cut out. Now those actually have tarp behind it, so it's almost like a pocket. So what happens is if you hit one of the holes, you can see how it drops in, falls down to the bottom, and then that makes gathering them up a lot easier as long as you're hitting them accurately, right? Um, this is a really good setup for indoor use. And the reason why is because it hits with a dead bounce. So as you can see, if you miss, just drop straight down. So you're not gonna be shagging a lot of pucks. It's not gonna ricochet off and hit the window or hit the light bulb or whatever else. It's a real dead bounce. Makes it really indoor friendly. Now, obviously there are some limitations as well with the Sniper's Edge. Um, the main thing is if you're wanting to work on going bar down or working on your close shots, getting them right up underneath the bar, top shelf or whatever, um, obviously it's a flat canvas, so you're not gonna be able to do that type of thing. But if you're looking at just working on basic accuracy, um, it's a phenomenal product. Again, works really well indoors. So I'm gonna go ahead, shoot around a little bit, and uh, we'll uh, cut to the end of the video. So there's your sniper's edge. As you can see, all the pucks landed just kind of right at the goalie's feet or uh, down in the, the bottom pocket. You can see in there. You can pick these up at Hockey Shot and make sure you visit the link in the description to pick up your coupon code and uh, save some money on your order. Okay, let's see you go bottom row. Start bottom left, go. Try again. Good, five hole. Nice, go bottom right. Gotta get it up a little. Ooh, that was close. Nice, you got it. Bottom row. <laughs> 